everybody today i am obviously vlogging i don't know if the like intro shots worked but i tried to do something a little like not really artsy but just a little bit more creative and just show you guys kind of what i did this morning it's currently friday the 4th of february and i have the day off so i thought i would vlog i am planning on reading a book later today i also am planning on watching a movie so i just thought it'd maybe be a little fun to vlog my day like i said i actually did a lot this morning already and i feel very productive which normally if i have a day off i like to stay in my bed as long as i can usually till like 10 30. but today i was like up at nine and I started cleaning and I was just getting everything organized. I'm currently waiting for my nails to dry so I can clean them up. They're still kind of sticky. I literally screwed up on this nail. Probably gonna start reading in a little bit, but I really need to work on a thumbnail for my video that goes up tomorrow. And then I need to do like the info box and get that ready. So I probably should do that now and then maybe i'll read i also kind of want to read the good girl complex by l kennedy because a lot of people have been comparing it to after and everybody says it's literally the same plot of after and it's like the same thing almost i'm not going to read that today but i kind of want to read that like it wasn't really on my radar i just feel like i don't really enjoy l kennedy's books anymore I think the only books I have truly loved from her are her off-campus books. So I wasn't really that interested in reading The Good Girl Complex, but since reviews have come out and since people have been reading it, it's kind of making me want to read it. Like I want to see how comparable it is to After and I want to see like if I like it more than After. So I might actually just buy the physical copy of Good Girl Complex, which normally I would just by the ebook but i think i might try to buy the physical book i'm kind of planning on buying a bunch of books for my birthday in march and shipping is just taking a lot longer lately so i've been ordering everything kind of early so i order a physical copy of that for my birthday maybe i don't know it's actually very gloomy out today it is snowing like off and on it's very cold out i think it's like minus 26 degrees celsius it's been cold the past three days which has really sucked it's just been freezing i'm gonna go do a couple of video related things and then i will let you guys know when i'm reading and what i'm reading this angle looks really bad but i am now in bed and i'm going to start reading normally i would just read on the couch because it's like the middle of the day but I decided I wanted to get into bed. I wanted to get cozy because it's kind of stormy outside and I wanted to read in my bed. So I have my Kindle here. I'm gonna load up my book. I'm going to read Getting Real by Emma Chase. This I guess is technically the third book in the Getting Some series i think i'm pretty sure i have read the first two books getting real this one is about a doctor who is a single dad and the female character i think is a nurse it sounds really fun and cute so i thought i would go ahead and give it a try it's not super long so hopefully i can read it all today it is currently 2 23 p.m like i said i'm gonna watch a movie later I'm hoping to watch the movie around like seven and I'm gonna watch Through My Window, which I'm very excited about. I've heard kind of mixed things about it now that it's out, but a lot of people who I follow on Twitter that saw it never read the book, so they didn't really know what to expect and I've read the book. So hopefully I will enjoy it more, but I'm gonna talk about the movie later. That is what I'm planning to watch tonight though. I think I'm gonna order some Chinese food tonight because I have been craving Chinese food. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting real. I was gonna say getting some, but I'm gonna start getting real. Okay, it is currently around four o'clock, a little after four o'clock, and I am about halfway, actually a little over halfway 
through getting real and I like it but it's probably just gonna be a three star read which sucks because I wanted it to be four star like it's a cute read but I just don't feel like it's anything special it's not it's not a favorite it's just a very cute simple romance I don't really have much to say about this book like I really like the characters and I like how they both communicate. Connor is in his 40s and Violet is in her 30s. So they're both like very mature adults and they actually communicate pretty well. Like they've had so far one little miscommunication but other than that they've been communicating really well and that's nice to see. Like I am enjoying that aspect. I also really like Connor's kids, his boys are really great. I'm probably gonna keep reading for another half an hour to an hour. I would like to read this entire book but we'll see how far I get into it in an hour. Every time I film my heat is on and it's so loud. I don't know why I have like such red cheeks. I'm not really that hot. I don't know why my cheeks are so red but i just finished reading getting real and i'm definitely giving it three stars like it was really cute and sweet and funny and occasionally really hot but it just didn't feel like it was anything super special i don't know it was just like a very cute basic romance like i said i will say like i definitely teared up a little bit though like i'm not gonna lie i did kind of cry a little bit because there's some stuff that happens that kind of came a little bit out of nowhere and i was like oh my god this is actually kind of sad it definitely had some great heartfelt moments which i really enjoyed and like a three star to me is like it's still a really good book it's just i know i'm gonna forget about it in like a week there was like a little bit of miscommunication towards the end but it was totally like understandable and it made sense like it wasn't that bad so i was right it is about a single dad who's a doctor he has three boys and our female character is a nurse and they work together and she has always had the biggest crush on him but she didn't really think that he like saw her in that way he's always been like a little interested in her but he thought that she was a little too young for him even though he is i think 42 and she's 30 they're 12 years apart it's not like she's that young but he's just like concerned about it because he doesn't want to date somebody who's so young and not into not settling down their friends both notice that they kind of have chemistry or that they're kind of into each other so they essentially like try to push them together and then they start to get to know each other more and they really like each other it's just, it was very cute like I said I am glad I read it because I did really want to read it it's been a while since I've read an Emma Chase anyways I feel like she hasn't released anything in a while so I am glad I finally read it I also really want to reread Tangled and watch the movie I've heard really good things about the movie and like a lot of people don't really enjoy passion flicks that much have said really good things about the adaptation which makes me really happy and excited. I don't really have plans to watch it this month to be honest. I might watch it in March and then do a whole video on it. I do miss doing my passion flicks videos. I definitely want to try to get back into them so I think I'm probably going to do Tangled next. So now I'm going to write in my reading journal. I'm going to document getting real and i already ordered my chinese food so that should arrive within half an hour okay so my food actually arrived so much earlier than i thought it was like it got here so fast got some sweet and sour sauce got some chicken balls oh my god they look so good and i got some chicken thin with no bean sprouts because I hate bean, sp bean sprouts, they're so gross. And then I just got rice 
literally so basic but exactly what i wanted so this is what everything looks like and i'm just watching a stream while i pig out and eat all of this delicious food it's a little after seven o'clock now and my Chinese food was delicious. I loved it. I'm so happy I ordered food. I'm now going to watch through my window and I am very excited but also kind of nervous because I've been hyping this movie up in my head. So hopefully I end up liking it. I don't know if I said this earlier but I did read the book. I read it back in January and I talked about it in my January wrap up. I gave the book like three stars. It was decent. It was a very cute, simple Wattpad, smutty high school romance. There were definitely things I liked about the book, but overall it was just very cliche. So I'm going to watch Through My Window on Netflix. And I believe it is technically a Spanish movie. I know the book was translated into English. Um, and it first started on Wattpad. I might just watch the English dubbed version, but if I'm not vibing with it, I might just watch the original version with subtitles. I don't really know yet. Okay, it's an hour and 55 minutes, I think, or 53 minutes. I literally cannot see from there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start watching Through My Window. Fingers crossed. I like it. Fingers crossed. I love it. Are you using my Wi-Fi? Yeah. Without my permission. Well, mine's not working, so now I'm using yours. You admit it, just like that? Honesty's one of my qualities. You're such an ass. You know me pretty well, right? I also know stuff about you that I'm not supposed to. Raquel. Stop using my Wi-Fi and turn down the music. Or what? I'll keep using your Wi-Fi and you can't do anything to stop me. Which... So I just finished watching Through My Window and honestly it's like a three star, a three out of five. It was cute, it was fun, it was hot. I don't know, maybe it's because I watched it in the English, like dubbed English version. I am going to re-watch it maybe tomorrow or something. I'm going to re-watch it in the original language, Spanish and see if I like it more because I don't know I feel like sometimes if you watch things when they're like translated it's it doesn't always hit the same so I think I'm gonna watch the original version tomorrow and maybe I'll feel differently but like I liked it it was fun I'm not as obsessed with it as I thought I would be but the two main characters main actors had a decent amount of chemistry and like they were very cute together they're both very hot they actually changed quite a bit from the book like later on like the beginning of the movie is very much like how the book starts but for example Raquel's mom is a nurse in the book and in the movie she's a caterer and in the book Aries's grandfather is still alive but in the movie he has passed Yoshi is a little different I feel like he's a blend of the other guy character that she's friends with in the book i can't remember what his name is but i feel like they blended yoshi and that character together to make like this new yoshi um danny was like the same not ending but like the stuff before the ending the whole situation with aries's family that was changed i'm also glad they didn't do like yoshi's storyline because he has like a very serious very triggering storyline in the book and i'm glad they just like didn't do that for the movie yeah like i said it wasn't as in love with it as i had hoped i would be but regardless i still really liked it and there were a lot of sex scenes i'm also surprised like with how much nudity was shown like 
it was quite a bit now i'm going to grab my tv and movie journal and i'm going to write about the movie in here i do plan on making a video about this journal and all my other journals i think i'm going to do that in march sometime but i'm going to go ahead and write about the movie in here i don't really think i have anything else to say about the movie but i can like low-key see myself re-watching it and i mean i am going to re-watch it in the original language and just see if i like it better that way because it dubbed i mean it was fine like i'm not saying the dub version was like there wasn't anything bad with it but it just obviously felt a little off so i want to watch it in the original format and i might like it more so i'm probably going to do that tomorrow or something i'm not going to vlog that but I'm sure I will talk about it in my TV and movie wrap up at the beginning of March. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night just winding down and chilling out because I do have to work tomorrow. Today was a really productive and successful day. I'm really glad I vlogged it. I'm also really glad that I was super motivated and I felt like vlogging and Hopefully this video turns out okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy this random vlog. I guess that is pretty much it. So thanks for watching this vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.